Hi-Res Audio is a standard of lossless audio capable of reproducing a fuller range of sound from recordings that have been mastered at a level beyond CD quality sources. In simpler terms, high-resolution audio is closer to the original studio recording and takes advantage of a wider portion of the audio spectrum. HyperX is excited to deliver this technology to gamers. CD quality audio is encoded at a bit depth of 16 bits and a sample rate of 44.1 kHz. The most popular digital formats, such as MP3 and AAC, compress files down even further. While these audio formats sound pretty good, Hi-Res Audio goes a step further, encoding audio at 24 bits and 96 kHz to add a level of clarity and detail that was previously missing. Let's take a look at this waveform. Visually, this is how a sound would appear if we heard it raw, uncompressed, and unedited. Here's a representation of how that waveform would be reproduced for CDs, at a bit depth of 16 bits and a sample rate of 44.1 kHz. You can see some of the details in the curves gets lost in the samples. This is a pretty good attempt, but let's see what that waveform looks like when we take it up to high res. As you can see, high res audio's greater 24 bit depth and higher 96 kHz sample rate allow for a wider dynamic range and better frequency response, which more faithfully recreates the original waveform. Nuances like the timbre and textures of sounds that would normally get lost are captured in high res audio, providing greater clarity and a more satisfying listening experience. In order to experience high resolution audio, you'll need to make sure that you have all the required high-res components, content, a playback device, and an output device. Typically, these audio formats are high-res versions of FLAC, WAV, AIFF, DSD, or ALAC files. You'll also need a playback device that can process the content. Finally, you'll need an output device that can handle high-res formats, such as headphones, or speakers that have been certified to output sounds at frequencies up to 40 kHz. 